subscribing thank you for liking my videos thank you for sharing them for viewing them i really 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 appreciate the support today today is all about me today is when i get to open up so that you guys can learn a little bit about me i'm not gonna say much i'm not gonna reveal too much i'm just gonna reveal what i want to reveal reveal because um yeah we all deserve a little privacy here and there so i have jotted down a few questions don't mind me looking down i'm just reading okay so the first question is who are you i was born going to sing going to sing called i grew up with my with with my my big sister and her khuristo ke ngkhonwa rona may her soul rest in peace yeah and then um tato usually it means will like the will of god you know when i came when i was born they were looking forward to mona musimane but then hey ha tla ganna ngwanyana and they were like oh ke tato ya modimo gore e be le ngwanyana so yeah that's that's just how it came about me being tato and then um what is there more who am i this is me guys like this is me um i moved to mafia gang in 2005 because of unforeseen circumstances which will be explained further in the video. Well, that was my unforeseen circumstance as I saw it as a benefit from me moving from Itsun to Mafike. So anyway, yeah, ke wanya na Botswana, ke rata Botswana. Sona saka skile sa singe ga ga etsho, re le ke ya Mafike eng, ha min ke ya kokotse strong. No, sona saka foremost the biggest challenge I've, 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 I had to, to, to encounter was bullying. I was bullied a lot when I was young. I was bullied for my weight. I was bullied for the person that I was. Friends would turn against me. Like, you know, but then they turn against you. They, they even, it's like, was far and then bahufa like sayang mutona na ke hore motswere so it was just like that like i never kept good good like, good friendships when i was growing up because people would always turn turn against me and like they would pretend hore no thato ra go tlhaloganya o motho yana motho yana but then after a while awa but you give out shut kef yo but anyway but see look guys um yeah i was bullied a lot it was it was it was a very difficult and dark time for me i'm still learning to move from that i've moved but i'm still learning to deal with everything i was bullied go grade one grade two grade three grade three it got worse like it got worse your point i was kicked i was oh guys 
yo it was hot hey but anyway yeah that's just what it was and i never felt like i could fit in every, anywhere because people would you think people are your friends and then as soon as you turn your back they start gossiping about you so that's just how things got brutal for me and then at home I don't know why I felt this way, but I felt like a misfit. I felt like I didn't fit in. I felt like I was I didn't belong there. I felt like Banzeri Maroke okay okay. Rakupa Kubea Mona. For the time being. Mind you, I was loved. I was cared for. I was treated well. Kinegilemwa. But deep down inside me, I felt like I did not fit in. I, I felt like I, I did not, I did not belong there. Like, yo, it was hard for me dealing with those things. But one thing that I like a lot is that my sister and I hardly fought. We fought once, it got bad to a point that somebody was bleeding. So that's when I decided no more fighting with my sister, no more fighting with my siblings, no. It ain't happening. But anyway, yeah. And mind you, the result of the bleeding was me. I I I I I I did something that lead it to somebody bleeding. <laughs> Let me fix this. Anyway, um the third question is why did I cut my hair? This one I get a lot. People ask me this question a lot. Tato, why did you cut your hair? Tato, this, that, this, that. And I'm like, guys, okay. I had long hair. I had long, relaxed hair. It was so beautiful. It always take moisturize. I could, like, it's a really pond. Um, I had relaxed it the way I want to. I look it the way I want to. I no one would say, no, I guess I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I loved my hair. My hair was so long. I was so happy. Plus, and it's so beautiful. So, I cut my hair because <clears throat> I was in a relationship with this guy. So, every time we wake up in the morning, he'd tell me, yo, you look so ugly, your hair, you're in, 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 in. And then I felt like, but every single time when my hair is not combed up, my hair is is messy. He'd say, "Yo, mruha kumaswe." What's a girl mru o? So Tato decided, "Ah, Miguel, get a mruiri wena." So I cut my hair. So cutting my hair, I was like, "Okay, I done cut my hair. I look good, <sighs> baby girl." After cutting my hair, the guy was like, "Ah, how did you cut your hair?" Relax, Mari. Oh, Mugele, you look ugly. Yo. Anywho, ain't gonna talk about that today. Um, are you on a diet? No. I am not on a diet, guys. I get dieting. Yes, I exercise time and again, but I'm not on a diet. What's a diet anyway? What What is a diet? I just eat what I want to eat. I eat what I feel like I need. I eat what my body craves. So should I crave hoja dikar? I get hot Should I crave hoja dikar, the veggie, lena mamo, mugel, gaja? Should I crave hoja um the chips, kota, bega? I'm there, so I'm not on a diet. I just learn how to eat healthy. That's all I'm doing. Should Kija Jang and people are like, yo, Tata, how are you healthy? And I'm like, no, I never said that. Yes, I'm practicing to live a healthy life, but I'm not on a diet. No, I wouldn't survive on a diet. Uh, next question. Why do you eat a lot of junk? Look at your pimples. Yes, Miguel, look at my pimples. I'm glowing, aren't I? I glow. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> Guys, junk food high contributed to the pimples. Please, hey, please. Rinali pimdulo di bitori homola nembalance. Rinali 
guys come on the breakouts we get those so no junk food doesn't contribute to my pimples some of it does but girl no junk food doesn't contribute to my pimples ouch that should not have happened it does not contribute to my pimples at all if it did my skin would be looking way worse than it is right now so no junk food doesn't contribute to my pimples i eat junk food the way i please next question why are you so kind and so soft <laughs> the reason why i'm like that is because we live in a world that is full of cruel people we live in a world that doesn't care it, it, they don't care these people they don't care they, they don't care about that they just want to feed their egos they just want to feed them they just want to focus on them so the reason i'm the way i am is because the world hasn't given me that i have i've, I've gotten that from my family and my close friends but further from that no guys the world isn't so rosy the world isn't so isn't the way we wished it would be you know when you were young you never saw these things but now that we're growing oh guys it's difficult it's, it's difficult so that's why i decided you know what let me just be kind let me just be soft to people because i have not gotten a lot of that so that is why i'm the way i am next question if you had one wish what would it be my one wish would be Maybe we rewind to 2013 when my grandmother was still alive or we bring her back because I really miss that soul. I really miss her so much. Yeah. Where do you see yourself in five years? Hmm. That one, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sit here and say, oh, I see myself in this beautiful house. I see myself. In... Guys, life is rough. One thing I know is that in five years, I won't be where I am today. In five years, maybe I would be happier than the way I am today. In five years, I want to like progress for the better. I'm not. I'm not gonna be here to flesh rosy stuff. And the next thing, five years to come, I'm like eh, dololo. Oh. So no, I just want to be happier. I wanna be um more like improve more on my hobbies improve more on the things that i love be happy be i don't want to talk about family and having my own family no i don't i'm not going to talk about that god has that in his hands he has a plan for me i ain't expecting anything whatever he gives to me i'll be happy and i'll be good because he has better plans for us he said that in jeremiah 29 verse 11 mm -hmm. What is the one thing you regret in life? <laughs> what is the one thing that I regret in life? Um, loving so hard. I go all in, guys. I go all in. All in. I don't play. That's just the one thing that I regret in life. I just wish that one day I just wake up and like I don't care, but that's not who I am. <sighs> anyway, yeah. Those are all the questions that I have jotted down. I'm not gonna say anything more. I'm not gonna say anything less. I don't regret what I said in my video. Like I life is life, man. People ain't gonna treat you the way that you treat them. You can be kind, you can be all of these rosy, fleshy stuff to people, but if they feel like putting a knife in your back, they're going to do it. They're going to do it. So, yeah, this is just who I am. This is the way I am. But one thing I don't like is that when people poke me and expect me not to react. Mongel, I'm going to react then it won't be nice yes but anywho thank you guys thank you for watching thank you for tuning in please comment subscribe down below um comment just feel free feel free to ask me anything as well should you want to know more i'm here to answer your questions thank you guys have a beautiful
beautiful Sunday. Hey, I'm so